Another package. UPS, FedEx, and USPS, the Postal Service. Thank you very much for all your service that you do for our country in delivering packages to jack weasels like myself who love NAFs. Yeah. On time. On delivery. Love it. Open L number eight. Boss Steed Nightshade. We'll look at this tomorrow. We're going to cut some cardboard today, too. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to cut cardboard strips into my fire pit. In the fire pit so I can burn it. I'll burn this, too. I like to burn my garbage sometimes. When you live in the country, yeah, you go ahead and burn your garbage. So, open up. You're watching the Knife Channel. Kind of. I'm kind of a Knife Channel. I'm a, I like to think a comedic interpretation of a Knife Channel. A parody of a Knife Channel. A parody of myself. I am the butt of the joke in, in most scenarios. But, Open L is made in France. That's pretty cool. It has a sticker on the back. And look, it says cult. So I'm trying to remove the sticker as gingerly as possible so I can read why it says cult on the back of my knife package. Come on in, Malcolm. Come on in, buddy. Come on, Fergus. It's the time of year. It's the time of year where the dogs in and out. In and out. In or out. That's what parents used to tell me when I was a kid. I'm a Gen Xer. Normally it was out. Just get out. Get out, stay out. Don't come back until the street lights come on. Got the wood stove on because it's a bit of nip in the air, but we're still in the 40s. Low 50s, 40s, and I like to keep my wood stove on when I when I can. Oh, we're gonna get to read it. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Joseph Opinel, Opinel designed his first pocket knife in 1890. 1890, folks. That is 134 years ago. 134 years ago, 1890. Creating a tool that is as robust and functional as it is simple and beautiful. True. From this workshop at the foot of the French Alps. Man, I want to go there. Opinel, Opinel, I think it's Opinel. Opinel forged a cult classic. Sure did. Savoy, France. Made in the French Alps. That's cool. I've always kind of wanted to go there and didn't know why. And I probably couldn't pick out the French Alps skyline from any other Rocky Mountain skyline. So I don't know why. Now, I'm going to put the specs here because I don't know the blade metal. I think they use 440C. Something like that. Ooh, this red. Now, something you're going to notice about the latest purchase. I bought three knives on um, Rosecraft Blades. And I bought three knives on Amazon. Of the three, of the six knives I purchased, four of them have red highlights. And you can almost say five because that Lothar has like an orangish red pivot trim. Man. So believe it or not, this is my first larger size Opinel. Now I bought one, I got tricked, and I bought a small one. It was cute. Tiny little small Opinel. This is a bigger one. So it has the collar right here. The wood handle. This wood handle has been virtually painted, not stained or, or dyed or something. You can hardly see the wood trim in there. But this is the number eight. Now when I open the blade, it's got a little tag here. It's a tag say. Nothing important. When I open the blade, I'll turn this collar, and we've got basically a locked, fixed blade, if you ask me. I don't care what anybody says. Clip point. Sharp as hell. Full flat grind. 
sharp as hell, so be very careful, kids. This ain't a butter knife. This ain't something from your kitchen drawer. I'll tell you that right now. Now, I don't know how far you can get a turn on this, but it seems like... See, it's got like a little angle on the collar right there. And that allows it to go about... I don't know, almost a quarter turn. And now you got yourself... See, now they should have made this leather strap. It's a super affordable knife. This is 20 bucks. And this is a little bit the bigger size, fancier. You can actually get like a number six for almost, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks. Let me see if I can find one. Put it right there. Now, I'm pretty stoked about this knife. Let's take it out. Let's go. We're going to take it out. Let me close it. Safely close it. Never walk or run with a knife in your hand. Just don't do it. It's bad juju. And then lock it so it won't open in your pocket and cut your hand off. Now, if this was a little bit longer, you could actually use it for an actual bushcraft sheath. But, bushcraft sheath. Oh, well. But, oh, well. Here we go. Let's go, puppies. Come on. Come on, Michael. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. So this is the back 40 out here. And this is where my wife likes to throw the throw the ball for the dogs. And then over here is a whole other acre over there fenced in. And that's where the dogs typically are. Here's my fire pit right here. Whoops, wrong way. I'm collecting cardboard. And I'm going to collect a little more cardboard for you today because I'm going to cut some cardboard with the Op and L. <clears throat> so here I'm going to unlock the Op and L. I'm going to put a leg up. I'm going to lock it. Okay, so this thing very slicey very slicey and it's very convenient to cut over a fire pit we're going to do a cross cut against the corrugation on the cardboard now i watched another channel buddy of mine knives i guess live and he did this for three hours straight talking while cutting cardboard. And he didn't cut himself once that I saw. That's skill. That is skill. But there you have it. I'm done cutting cardboard. I'm tired already. So there you go. The Open L number eight. What a Got like oil right here. These are great knives. Like old school, just good feel in the hand. Pull that off. Check out Open L. I think I'm what I'm I've been thinking about doing is is uh, you know being in the knife world. My brain's like thinking, man, these would make great steak knives. Why not buy six open L's, pull out the cheap steak knives in your thing and drop them in. Then they make a number 12. Put that in for a little bit bigger. And then, you know, be open L, giving you an idea. You need to make a kitchen block knife set, all folding knives, have a big bread knife, have a, your big number 12 in there, smaller number six for a paring knife, then maybe have a, a thinner kind of filet-ish type knife. Six of these in there. How cool would that be? I'd be buying an Op and L Butcher Block knife set if they did that. I sure as hell would. How cool would that be if your whole knife set was super sharp like these with decent metal that fold and they all folded down? Be pretty damn cool. Open L number eight with the red handle. Get ready, I got more red coming. Four more knives with red.